This is uh, the table decorations for the individual guest tables. Uh, we're just doing a smaller version of it. We would probably consider the 72 inch round. So I've uh, actually set this up so that uh, uh, the center piece, uh, the, the whole center area is a little askew just to show, uh, represent parts of it. But again, bringing the sand onto the table don't go right to the edge because it just get awfully messy. I think just keep it in the middle so that we can get the same effect that we had before with the, the you know, the wedging the crosswind into the sand. Everything is wedged into the sand. I, I think that's a lovely look that repeats on the table what happened down below. Um, there's actually the balcony vase to feature it, to coordinate with the, the head of the aisle on each table. And then there's some of the crosswind, maybe some small, some big, but in conjunction to that, we're using the fusion phases, which are really, really cool, by the way, because it's two layers so that you can actually use either or, either one of them as vases or as candle on either one of them so that it gives you so much, so much versatility. In this case, what we've done is we've used the, the bottom to put that little pebbles in there, the colored sort of the beach, uh, pebble kind of a look so that it gives you that with the water that look down below and then we did put candles on most of these but some of the candles we chose to just use it separately so that you actually end up with more units on the table and it's also nice to have the lighting at different levels flickering uh, in those in in the guest faces I think it's a very flattering light that you get off of this so I think uh, it, it's very kind of a very glamorous uh, kind of a look. We also have Blossom, which is these little, uh, actually name, name card holders, uh, which is, we, by the way, use the Capiche shell, which is the perfect card, no, uh, placement card. And this one here, we've used the Sharpie to put the names of the guests so that we might have this over, Eva will be sitting over there. And by the way, these Blossom vase also has an opening for flower. So you can have flowers on the back side with a name on the front side. So from across the table, you're seeing flowers. And from the front side, of course, you're seeing your name. So I think it's, it has a very nice uh, applicability. That's really quite lovely. And so now what we're going to do is design a little bit of flowers into this. We did have some roses um, up in the, the main feature uh, table as well as up in the balcony. So I think we might use some roses in some of these vases back in here. They're full blown open roses, quite beautiful. I think it's, it gives you lots of visual uh, and it looks very nice. If some of the, the flowers, the petals starts to drop, let it be so because on the beach, all these things happen and evolve. Uh, and that's what it's really all about. And then we might use a little bit of grass to tie some of these looks together. This is where it's kind of fun to be able to use that um, and bring it into that. Make sure that that line is not going to cross over the candles because you can certainly have a little bit of a issue with burning grass, which you don't want. But you can sort of position them in such a way so that you can get a very nice flow from one to the other. And of course, with these rocks in there, it helps position the grass is beautifully, and it gives you that kind of a windswept effect. I think that is so much about what beach weddings are themed after. And maybe we'll use an anthurium. This is one of these kind of vase uh, or the, the centerpiece that actually can have mixture, a real mixture of material, and that it sort of flows from one, to, one end to the other. And I, I, I can see this with a little breeze blowing and the skirting is sort of fluttering, grass fluttering. It's just perfect because if it should move, it's not going to affect anything. You know, it's designed to be just very casual and very, very pretty. And then we're going to touch it up with a few more shells. Budget allowing, if it's another $100 a table more, we just put $100 worth more of accessories. It's, it's a great way, actually, of selling um, the look. I think that looks really quite gorgeous. A little bit of that blue that we have incorporated into the, the design. And 
Tapering off, maybe a little bit of blue to pull your eyes to the back a little bit. And we're gonna take another one of these shell ball that coordinates with that and tuck it in to another spot. You can make it as full as possible or not so full. It's up to the budget. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to move this over like so, and maybe this goes to the back so you can see an echo of it from here to here. So now we're gonna light this up and all these candles. You know, the other way, of course, to beef this up is to use more flowers, but you have to be very careful with this kind of beach kind of a wedding that it's not overdone. Because if it's overdone, then it would appear as if it should have been at some other venue. You know, you have to always be very careful to interpret the venue so that it speaks the feel that you're after to incorporate the setting. Very, very important. But I think this gives it a very nice soft lighting that is very beautiful and flattering. In the evening, I think that pretty much completes the look.